Attention now to COVID-19 long haulers. As the medical community struggles to contain the coronavirus and develop a vaccine, well, there's a new subset of pandemic patients emerging. These are people who've had the virus, they've cleared that infection, but they continue to suffer severe symptoms and damage from the disease. For some, it can be a fate almost worse than death. It's heartbreaking. You had this really incredible life and you can't dwell on the fact that you don't have it anymore. Or it'll drive you crazy. Carla Monteroso, a hardworking CEO for a nonprofit, says she was never sick and always super active before she caught the coronavirus. I was incredibly healthy. I could deadlift 220 pounds. I would go kayaking. I white water rafted. I traveled a lot. But that all changed on March 13th when the 39-year-old Californian caught COVID-19. Carla says her initial bout was bad enough. She had a dry cough, fatigue, and fevers that developed to pneumonia. I did about a 17-day course of antibiotics. I was taking an inhaler with steroids in it, cough medicine with codeine. That lasted till about May. But Carla says despite testing negative for the disease, she's been sick for seven months now. I was never really better. Although her initial symptoms went away, Carla experiences ongoing inflammation, heart palpitations, constant fatigue, and other issues that have turned her world upside down. COVID ruined my gallbladder. I'm having surgery next month. I have to take beta blockers in order to bring my heart rate down. My chest hurts. I have pain underneath my fingernails, pain in my calves. I have this like brain fog that um, makes it very difficult to concentrate. What's worse, doctors don't have any solid answers or solutions for Carla. They don't know when I'm going to be better. Dr. Bindia Gandhi says as unfortunate as that is, it's understandable. The problem is there's not enough information, not enough data on it because it's all very new. One theory is the body may be holding on to fragments of viral genes that are not infectious but trigger violent immune reactions. And those reactions attack the body rather than safeguard it. As research continues, Dr. Gandhi says Carla is not alone, in fact, far from it. Probably about one in three people that have been diagnosed with coronavirus are having lingering symptoms. 57-year-old Tony Panero is another long hauler who was diagnosed with the virus in July. The former rideshare business owner from Nevada still suffers from shortness of breath, stabbing, chest pains, and kidney issues. I call it post-COVID symptoms because that's exactly what it is. Tony says on top of all the pain, it's frustrating to hear people tell him his post-COVID symptoms are all in his head. No, it's not all in my head. For all the people out there, it is not in your head. And if the doctors don't believe you, Get rid of that doctor and go to another doctor. Both Dr. Gandhi and Carla agree, and they also encourage long haulers to seek out support groups like Body Politic, Survivor Corps, and the Long COVID Support Group. No one knows what's happening right now, and because of this, you have to fight. And know that you're doing your very best, and that's all anyone can ask of you, including yourself. For more about COVID-19 long haulers and the latest on the coronavirus, you can check out the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention website. All you have to do is go to CDC.